Welcome to our math class. I am teacher Eva, teaching for today. Math subjects is enjoyable. We are critical, but you learn to love math. Let's begin. Today, we are going to solve problems involving percent problems like problems involving discounts, original price, rate of discount, sale price, markup price. Guess what? I have here three letters, P, R, and B. From your past lesson, what does it mean? Great! P is for percentage, R is for rate, and B is for base. Now, let us have a short review about finding the percentage, rate, and base. Identify the given and missing elements. 25% of 50 is what number? Very good! 12 and 5 tenths. What percent of 50 is 30? Great! 60%! 25% of 100 is what number? Excellent! 400! Can you say something about this? Where do we usually see this kind of signage? Yes, in some stores and malls, we see this signage. This is a discount. A discount is a decrease in the price of an item. It refers to the amount to be deducted from the original price. How about this? Yes, we usually see this for a tag price of an item. This is the original price. It is the regular price charge of the item. How about this one? Yes, this is so-called discount rate. A discount rate is the percent taken off from the original price. What about this? Of course, we much like these signs from the malls and stores when we see sales. We can buy the item in a more lower price from the original price. Sale price is the net price or discounted price it is the price of the item after the discount has been deducted. Discount and sale price both represent percentage. Original price represents the base and discount rate represents the rate. Let us have example 1, solving for the discount and sale price. A dress was sold for 500 pesos at a 16% discount. How much is the discount or how much can be saved? How much is the selling price? Now, let us analyze the problem. How much was the dress? What percent was the discount? Is the price enough for the dress? What is asked in the problem? What are the given data? What operation is to be used? How to solve the problem? To solve the problem, we're going to use the discount formula. You have discount equals original price times discount rate or D equals DR times OP. 500 pesos is the original price and 16% is the discount rate. Change percent to decimal. That's why 16% will become 16 hundredths. 500 times 16 hundredths equals 80 pesos. The discount is 80 pesos. Let's find the sale price. Using the formula, sale price equals original price minus discount or SP equals OP minus D. 
the original price is 500 minus the discount which is 80 pesos so the answer is 420 pesos therefore the discount is 80 pesos and the sale price is 420 pesos let us have example 2 solving for original price a wristwatch was sold for 2,500 pesos with a 20% discount. What was the original price of the wristwatch? For the solution, we're going to have DR or discount rate of 20%, sale price of 2,500 pesos, and we're going to look for the original price. Using the formula, for sale price, you have sale price equals original price times 100% minus discount rate. For the solution, we have sale price equals original price times 100% minus 20%. 2,500 which is the sale price equals original price times 80%. We subtracted 100% to 20%. 2,500 equals original price times 80 hundreds. We changed 80% to decimal. Arrange them into a fraction form. Original price times 80 hundreds over 80 hundreds equals 2,500 over 80 hundreds. Exchange and divide both sides by 80 hundreds. The original price is 3,125 pesos. Therefore, the original price of the wristwatch is 3,125 pesos. In some instances, the seller adds a particular amount on the items or goods to be sold for the profit o tubo. From the original price, the amount added is the markup price and the new amount is called the selling price. Markup and selling price represent both the percentage. Cost represents the base and markup rate represent the rate. Here are the following terms that can help you understand this particular topic. Markup is the increase in the price of an item. Markup rate is the percent to be added to the cost of item. Cost is the original amount of the item. Let us have example for solving for markup price. To have the profit, the businesswoman adds a markup price of 4 pesos and 50 centavos on all the plastic products that bought from Divisoria. What is the markup rate of the plastic bottle if the cost is 50 pesos? What will be the markup or selling price? For this problem, we have markup price of 4 pesos and 50 centavos with the cost of 50 pesos, now we are looking for the markup rate and the selling price. The formula that we're going to use is markup rate equals markup divided by cost times 100%. To solve for the markup rate, markup price divided by the cost times 100%. 4 and 50 divided by 50 times 100, substitute the given, change to decimal, divide, then multiply. 900 times 1 is equal to 900. Change this percent, move the decimal point going to the right, and put the percent symbol. Therefore, the markup rate of the plastic bottle is 9%. Now let us solve for the sale price. Cost plus markup price is equals to 50 pesos 
plus 4 and 50 equals 54 and 50 pesos. The selling price will be 54 and 50. Let's practice. Solve for the discount and sale price. I have here a selling price of 950 pesos and a rate of discount of 20%. To solve for that, discount equals discount rate times original price or selling price. 20% times 950 is equals to 20 hundredths times 950 equals 190 pesos. For the selling price, 950 pesos with a rate of discount of 20%, the discount is 190 pesos. Let's have the sale price. For the sale price, selling price minus discount. 950 minus 190 equals 760 pesos. The sale price is 760 pesos. Another practice to solve. 1,500 for the selling price with a discount of 690. We're now going to look for the rate of discount in a sale price. For the rate of discount, discount divided by sale price times 100%. 690 divided by 1,500 equals 4,600 times 100 equals 46%. For the sale price, selling price minus discount equals 1,500 minus 690 equals 810 pesos. For the selling price of 1,500 with a rate of discount of 46% and a discount of 690 pesos with a sale price of 810 pesos. Read the following problems then solve. Write your answer in your notebook. Thank you for watching and listening to my video. I hope you learned a lot and understand the lesson. Keep safe and God bless.